Hi guys, how you doing? This is Q coming to you with another DIY Genesis video tutorial. And I really wanted to jump in today just to give you a short video on how to control this title information right here where you see where it says featured and it says travel and lifestyle and fashion and just those titles and how you go about making those updates and changes. So we're going to jump right into a client site of mine that I actually just finished and I wanted to show you that those titles have been changed. So as you can see here, this now says personal finance. This says stock investing. This section over here says online marketing. So how do we go about making those changes? Well, let's dive into the back office and I'll show you. So I'm going to start you from the very beginning here and we're going to walk through this together. So where you would want to go to make those changes is right here under home page. So you'd hit edit and it's going to open up. And you saw that just a little bit of a loading uh, there that took place. That was from the Atomic Blocks post and page grid plugin. Now I'm going to do another tutorial that actually talks more about that just in case you didn't um, load up the demo content and you're just starting from fresh and you were trying to figure out how to build your own personal structured page and how to build things out and how to put it together. I'll do a separate tutorial for that. But in this tutorial, we already have the demo content loaded. So how do we go about making those changes to those titles? So we click on that feature section. Now, if you notice to the right, it says AB post and page grid. And this gives you a great deal of customization power right out the box. I mean, this is great stuff. And so right here in the content type, you're going to select posts because you're pulling in. You want to pull in post in this particular instance. But if just let's just say you decided you wanted to pull in page, you would select page versus post. And then you can put the order of newest to oldest, A to Z, Z to A. You can control that. And then, of course, you would select the category of your post that you're going to pull into this section. In this case, it happens to be featured. You can control the number of items that you want to pull in, the number of items you want to offset in your columns. Now, let's jump into this next section, post and page grid content. Now, this is really powerful. Here's where it is. Here's where all the magic happens. Right here in this section, just that fast, I changed the title of that section just that quickly. We're going to leave that obviously set to featured and then you can see that you can actually control whether that title shows or not. Turn it on and off. You can go in and display a featured image. You can not display the featured image. You can choose the image size. You can display the title, which the title is the title of your post, or you can turn that title off. You can display the author information if you want. You can display the author and the date information or not show that information. This excerpt section here, you can display that or you can turn it off and turn it back on. And you can set the length of your excerpt and you can set the text right here where it says continue reading or you can say read more. It's, it's all up to you how you want to set it. And then if you want to, you can turn that off as well. So as you can see, I just showed you, you have a lot of great power here available to you to make some really amazing changes. And I just wanted to really show you just how quick you can make those changes, how easy it is to go in and do that. And then you could easily set this up to look exactly how you want to. Now here's the second section, the personal finance section. And in here we did more customizations where we set the number of items to two and we set it to two columns. You can control all of that just by using that AB post and page grid plugin and you can select that you can put that into your home page and you can create whatever types of layouts you're really looking at wanting to create so i hope this tutorial was what tutorial was helpful for you i hope you got a lot of value out of it please comment and let me know if you want to see additional tutorials or if i'm covering things that you um need to know about or if there's something else you want to know about please just let me know that in the comments below and you can also follow along because i left a link there for the magazine pro and the genesis framework in the description and please just hit that subscribe button and 
the like as well as the notification bell to be notified of every new video that we'll be putting out because I certainly will be doing another video on the AB posting grid for those that are just starting out fresh and don't have that installed I'll show you exactly how to install that and then go about doing the same customization so until next time guys this is Q coming to you from DIY Genesis